In this lesson, we'll cover how to design a new custom report. To do this, we'll need to decide which statistics we want to include on the report, the order in which they should appear, and what totals we want to see. Go ahead and open up the data dictionary you downloaded in the last lesson. One way to identify the statistics you want on your report is to look at what's already available on the standard reports. During this course, we are going to build a report that contains information about skill sets. So we'll start by looking at the standard skill set based reports to see what kind of statistics are available. Click on the chapter titled Standard Reports. We'll find skill set reports in the Others folder, so click Other Additional CCMA Reports. Let's start by looking at the statistics that are on the Skill Set by Application report. Here we can see a list of all of the statistics that appear on this particular report. For our custom report, we'll use some of these same statistics such as Skill Set Answered, also known as Calls Answered, Average Answer Delay, and Maximum Answer Delay. Notice how this section also identifies the name of the database field and the RCW formula field. These are the field names that we'll see when we're choosing which statistics to include on our report. You can also see a sample image of the report here. I'm just going to plug those statistic names into an Excel spreadsheet so we can see how it will look. So far, so good. What else? Let's go back to our list of reports by clicking the Standard Reports bookmark again, then Others. Now let's jump to the Crosstab Skill Set Performance Report. From this report, we would like to include Calls Offered and Skill Set Abandoned, also known as Calls Abandoned. We'll add these two fields to our Excel spreadsheet. Another way to decide which fields you want to include on your report is to browse through the list of RCW formulas available. Go back to Standard Reports and this time click on Report Creation Wizard. Now click on the section called Functions, Operators and Formulas. Now click on Report Creation Wizard Formulas. This section contains all of the formula fields grouped by statistic type and sorted alphabetically. Scroll down until you find the Skill Set Stats section. Here we can see a listing of all the formulas available for Skill Set data. There is even a description of what the statistic means. From this list, we'll also include Average Talk Time, Average Abandoned Delay Time, Maximum Abandoned Delay Time, and the Service Level Percentage. Those fields will also get added to the spreadsheet. Now that we've identified the fields we would like on a report, we can rearrange them so they're in the order we would like to see them on the report. Now we have a plan in place for how we will build our report. Our next step will be to get into the Report Creation Wizard and start building the report. 